Then Pastor. sacrifice some people thought some of them thought it was it was a mad decision how can you leave 
the comfort of your office as CEO of a thriving bank, and then the chairman of the committee of bank CEOs in Nigeria, you will resign and come and run an election. A lot of pressure was put on us. My father-in-law, God bless his soul, called me and said that uh, he needed to get somebody to examine my head. <laughs> But then, our state was the race, and we needed somebody to do something about it. So we started with the campaign slogan, Apia First, even before Donald Trump talked about America First, he copied from us. <laughs> the story of 2015 ended the way it ended, and in 2019, we came again and this time we said, enough is enough. It also ended the way it ended. But God sustained us. So 2023, we came again. And this time around, we said, Abians, weep no more. say that help is here. I don't know what you say. This help, yeah? Yes. You know, it reminds me of a story in the Bible in John chapter 1 verse 46. In fact, the story starts from verse 43 when Jesus found Philip. And then going up to verse 44 when Philip now found Nathaniel and he told him that we found that man who Moses talked about, who the prophets wrote about, and that his name is Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Do you know what Nathaniel told him? Nathaniel asked, can anything good come out of Nazareth. So at that time, people were asking, can anything good come out of Abia State? Anywhere you went to. In fact, the decision to run for this election started when I went to Harvard Business School for the very long program. One Indian approached me and said, Alex, a lot of good stories about you people from Nigeria, individually, but collectively, you are all figures. I felt that, but it was right. And I said, we need to do something about it. So people were asking, Tell anything, anytime you mention that there are people who dismiss you, that place, there is no human being there. Are you surprised? I guess, uh, some of the girl that uh, did a comedy skit where she, I think that was in 2022, she dismissed other people to say, don't we move on other state? <laughs> so just like the passage I was talking about, but there was something that Philip told Nathaniel. What did he tell you? If anybody asks you if any good thing can come out of, of Fabian's state, just ask him to call. So, Pastor, I came to thank God. Yes, it's my birthday, but that's actually not the celebration. I remember coming here over a year ago. The pastor in charge was Pastor Okewan. And he received me very well. He anointed me that day. And he wished me well. He took me to his office and said so many things. In fact, if 
the election was going to be conducted that day, he would declare me win. <laughs> and then, subsequently, I think he was transferred to Warwick uh, somewhere. So, and then, but today I just decided that I need to come back to this church. And my coming back to this church is to thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything, all the prayers that you offer. And celebrate God with you. Sometimes we may also be celebrating and thanking ourselves, not remembering where the power comes from. First Corinthians chapter 3, no chapter, yeah, chapter 3, verses 6 and 7. Talking about Paul. He said, Paul says, I have planted Apollo's water. But God gave him. So neither him that planted nor him that watered did anything, but God that gave the increase. So I just want for all of us to, as a corporate body, thank God for everything that you So Pastor, thank you very much for this opportunity to speak to our people. I want to thank you for all the support that you've been giving us. One thing that I just want to ask of you, continue to remember us in the prayers. God bless you.